We can't go till they're done. Before the basketballs and players swarm downtown Spokane, armies of volunteers hit the concrete. It's fun. Uh, actually, this is about the fifth year my kids have done it. They enjoy doing it. They love the free t-shirt more than anything else. The captain of this team, Clay Sturgis, helps direct 20 other volunteers armed with tape, stencils, and energy. Put that in there. Their job is to lay down baselines and stencil in the key and three-point line. This year, they're responsible for 22 courts. I think, well, it's pretty fun, you know, but I think when we get to the end, it'll probably be pretty hard. This isn't work for the week. Laying down tape can take three or four hours, and you've got to be willing to burn through a lot of the sticky stuff. We use about 65,000 feet of the four-inch yellow tape that kind of um, for the court boundaries, and then about 17,000 pieces of the white tape that marks out the key in the three-point line. So that's a lot. After careful measuring, sticking, and patience. <laughs> I complain every year to not want to do it, but I have to do it. Dedicated volunteers like Clay, who come back year after year, hooked to the Hoop Fest magic, help transform city streets into a basketball oasis.